A nice little day trip that turned into a horrific nightmare. There is no better way to describe what Tanya Anderson has gotten through after she came to New York City for a day trip to treat herself on Wednesday. Just to get my hair done, I got a massage and everything. She was supposed to go back to Chicago on the same day, but because of bad weather, her flight was canceled. The earliest they could rebook me was today. And I get here this morning and all flights were at a halt. She's frustrated, just like thousands of people across the region and around the world who have been dealing with flight delays and cancellations. The reason? The largest IT outage in U.S. history, obstructing Microsoft's 365 apps and Azure service. We identified this very quickly and remediated the issue. George Kurtz, CEO of CrowdStrike, the company responsible for the global computer outage, explaining it was caused by a defect in an update to one of their security systems. And now we are uh, working with each and every customer to make sure that we can bring them back online. The IT disruption impacted small independent businesses and big corporations, including banks, media companies and hospitals. Even billboards in Times Square went dark. This was not a cyber attack. The mayor's office said he detected a minor issue on some cameras that are used by law enforcement agents. But 911 and other critical services were not affected. The city is giving credit to good planning and practice. So our most critical services, 911 related, 311 related, we isolate and keep it in a separate environment and we control what updates get pushed into that segment of the environment. For Ty and Anderson, one thing she cannot control is making it back home to Chicago tonight. See if the last flight out to Chicago, I could possibly get on standby.